Oh, hi everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzle and Spice. You know, every week that I figure out what I'm gonna make for my video, there's a hundred ideas in my head. I will never run out of recipes to make to share with you guys. But you know, if you have special requests and there's a certain dish that you'd like me to make in a video, leave that idea for me right in the comments below my video. If you're on your phone, sometimes it's hard to find those comments. If you just scroll down below my video, all the way past everybody else's videos, that's where you can leave a comment. So you let me know what you'd like me to make and I'll add it to my list and we'll see if we can get to it. We're gonna make today a basic mashed potatoes. I've had several requests for this, so I'm gonna show you my secrets to success in making the perfect mashed potatoes. Let's get this going. So all we're gonna need for this mashed potatoes is the potatoes, of course, and I like using red potatoes. We're gonna use butter. We're gonna use a little bit of garlic, a couple of garlic cloves. We're just gonna use salt and pepper and heavy whipping cream. And that's all there is to it. Let me show you how we get this started. To get these mashed potatoes started, I've taken a big pot and I filled it about a third of the way with cold water. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I love garlic, and this makes perfect mashed potatoes. So I'm opening up this uh, garlic head and I'm gonna take about uh, maybe two or three garlic cloves, probably three, and I'm just gonna take the peels off. And then I'm gonna throw these garlic cloves right into the pot of water. They're gonna cook right alongside the potatoes and then I'll mash them right alongside the potatoes as well. Killing two birds with one stone will be perfect. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just peel my potatoes. I'm using my Rachel Ray garbage bowl here. These are, this is one of my favorite gadgets in the kitchen. Uh, be sure to click on the title of this video and scroll down, you'll see all the links for my most popular kitchen gadgets if you'd like to get them for yourself. So I'm just gonna peel these potatoes and then I'm gonna cut them now the key is when you're cutting those potatoes, make sure that you cut them uniformly so they're all the same size. So I'll get this going and we'll move on to the next step. So I'm gonna prepare about two and a half pounds of potatoes today and it probably make about six servings. So I've peeled all the potatoes and now it's important before you uh, get them in the pot that they're all about the same size so that they cook evenly. So I'm just gonna cut all these some of them into four, some just three. So they're all the same size and I'm putting them into the pot here of cold water. Who doesn't love mashed potatoes? It's important that every cook know how to make perfect mashed potatoes because everybody loves them. All right. And you know what, there's so many variations. After you do the basic mashed potatoes, there's so many things that you can add to these potatoes to give them different flavors, to make them really incredibly decadent. So now that I have them all in the pot, I'm just gonna move them over here to the stove. And I'm gonna turn my burner on high. And I'm gonna put the cover on the pot because it'll come to a boil faster. And I'll let you guys see what it looks like when we come to a boil. Okay, so while the potatoes come to a boil, I'm gonna show you three different kitchen gadgets that you can use to make mashed potatoes. And uh, I think everybody has one of these in their kitchen. This is an absolutely necessary kitchen gadget, just your regular potato masher. Sometimes if I'm having a party and I'm making a big batch of uh, mashed potatoes, I'll use my hand mixer. And of course, every kitchen needs one of these as well. Now, the thing that I just bought recently, and I can't believe I haven't had one sooner, is this ricer, potato ricer. I've seen it on all the food TV shows, and finally I got myself one, and I used it, and OMG, I cannot believe the creamy potatoes I got with this. So this is what I would highly recommend, and I'll show you how we're going to use this just as soon as those potatoes are ready to go. Okay, I think I hear some potatoes boiling. 
It took about 10 minutes for this to come to a boil. And now that we've got a good boil here, I'm gonna turn my heat down to about medium. And then I'm gonna put the cover on with a little bit opening to let that steam escape. And these potatoes will take about 20 minutes to come to the right softness. I'll show you how we'll test them in 20 minutes. All right, it's only been about 15 minutes since these potatoes have been boiling and I wanna show you how you test them for doneness. These are probably not done yet, but you take a regular toothpick, you pick up a potato and you push it in. Now the potato's not rolling right off. That means it needs a few more minutes. So I'm gonna put the cover back on and let these continue to boil. Okay, these potatoes ended up taking 20 minutes and I'm gonna show you how I know that they're done. When I pick up a potato and I take a regular toothpick and push it in right into the middle of the potato, it slides right off. You can check a few of them to be sure, and these are all sliding off the toothpick, so I know that these are ready to go. But keep in mind, yours might take longer than 20 minutes if you cut your potatoes a little bit larger than mine. But this is ready to go, so I'm gonna drain them into my colander here, right into the sink. By the way, this colander is fantastic. It's really the best one I've ever had. You can see the way it fits on the sink here. It closes up and it smashes down flat for storage, makes it an indispensable tool for me in the kitchen. So you can see these potatoes are steaming. I'm gonna let them steam here for a little while because the drier they get, the better mashed potato they will make. I'll be right back. Okay, I let these potatoes steam for about five minutes and now it's time for the ricer. This thing is really kind of fun. So what you do is you just take a couple of potatoes with a spoon and put it right into the ricer. And it's kind of fun to watch it come out. The grandkids would love watching this. Look at that. It almost comes out like teeny tiny little noodles or like rice, I guess. So I'm gonna just keep putting this in here. You can come closer Ed, so they can see closer. And you can see the garlic clove is right in here. I'm gonna put that right inside the ricer as well so it gets blended right with the potatoes watch this this is fun and again with my 40 years of experience uh first of all i can't believe i never got this ricer before and secondly i just can't believe how creamy they come out with this gadget it's beautiful watch this <laughs> it's like raining potatoes look at the pile in the pot too eddie can you see that? <laughs> this is fun. I'm gonna have to do it with the grandkids. They would really enjoy this. All right, so I'm gonna finish mashing these with this ricer, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, I've got all the potatoes mashed beautifully here. I'm gonna put my masher here in the sink. And take a look at this close thread. I want them to see how smooth this is. Look at this. It's just beautifully mashed potatoes. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Okay, now I'm gonna add the butter and the cream to the potatoes, but you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna warm them up because the cream is cold and so is the butter and it could make those potatoes a little bit lumpy if I add the cold to the hot mixture. So I'm putting four tablespoons of butter into my pan here, my pot. And I'm gonna start with a half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm gonna let this come to a simmer and then we'll be adding it to the potatoes in a minute. Okay, now that the cream and the butter are nice and warm, I'm gonna add them to my pot of riced potatoes. I'm just adding some pepper to the pot now. I love pepper, so just add as much as you like. And sometimes rather than using my salt grinder, I love having salt like this on the side that I can just grab and put a few pinches of salt in here. And I cannot wait to taste this. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And if you like your potatoes a little thinner, you can always add a little more cream. Oh, look at these. Oh my goodness, they look fabulous. You know I have to try them right away. Ugh, they look great. I'm gonna put a little bit in a bowl here for myself. 
And look, let's try them. I can't wait. Mmm, they smell so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> they are the creamiest, butteriest potatoes I've ever had. These are delicious. You've got to try this recipe. And before I finish this video, I'm going to show you a variation that I'm going to do on these potatoes before we actually have them for dinner. They're fabulous this way, but I'm going to make some cheddar mashed. So let me show you how we do that next. <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> you couldn't wait, could you? Go ahead, you can finish that bowl I made. All right. <laughs> How do they taste, honey? Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had creamier potatoes mm -hmm. than with that rice, sir. Well, They're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love you, honey. Love you. So I'm gonna turn these into cheddar mash and I'm gonna put them in a small casserole dish. Uh, two and a half pounds will fit in this nine by nine pan. If you're making double for a big family or a gathering, you wanna use your 13 by nine pan for this. So to make the cheddar mash, all I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my pan. I melted a couple of tablespoons of butter so those potatoes don't stick. And really to make the cheddar mash, all we need to add is the cheddar. So right to my pot here, I'm just going to add about two cups of cheddar between the top of the potatoes and the inside. So I'm just going to do a nice big handful inside the potatoes. I'm going to stir these up really good. OMG. Is it dinner time yet, Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, then I'm just going to put these right into my dish here, my baking dish. These smell like heaven. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get the rest of these out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just flattening out these gorgeous potatoes. You can see the cheddar mixed in there. And then I'm going to just sprinkle some cheddar over the top. And this will be ready to go for dinner for Eddie and I tonight. I'll put it in the oven for oh, about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's bubbling all around the edges. I'll show you guys what it looks like then. These cheddar potatoes have been in the oven for about half an hour. Oh yeah, look at that. Put a little bit of green onion on them. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. Yum, yum. Ed's gonna love this one. You gotta try this one, you guys. And remember, you eat with your eyes first, so you may as well make it beautiful. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.